What's going on guys, it is Brad or Demon Asylum here. I'm bringing you all a new Fallout 4 video. Previously, as most of you know, I uploaded a video showing you how to do a glitch that basically lets you clean out vendors of their caps and their items, uh, kind of an infinite or unlimited caps glitch in a sense. There was a lot of confusion with this glitch though. People wanted a more clear step-by-step -step tutorial and with live commentary, and this is probably the way I should have done it to begin with. So this is how we're gonna go ahead and do it now. What you're going to want to do, of course, first is find a vendor. I don't think they necessarily need to have ammo. If you wanted to sell some of your ammo to them and use that for the glitch, you probably could. But just in case you guys want to know, I'm in Diamond City and I'm going to be doing this glitch on the weaponry NPC. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is establish which ammo type you want to use to do the glitch. You're going to want to choose the ammo that you have the least amount of or that you care the least amount about. Why? Because whatever ammo type you use, you're going to lose it all by the end of the glitch. And the only way to get it back from the vendor is if you legitimately buy it. So I'm going to go ahead and use 10 millimeter rounds one because he also has them. Again, if he doesn't, you could probably sell some to him to still do the glitch. And aside from that, I only have 10 of them. That's the least amount I have for any of the rounds here, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. To start the glitch off, what you're going to want to do is go to the vendors side of the inventory screen. Click on the ammo of your choice that you want to do the glitch with and choose to purchase all of it. Now, of course, you're not going to actually go through the transaction. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, if I were to hit X, that would accept the transaction to go through. You don't want to do that. What you want to do from here is go back to your inventory screen now on this on this side, the left side. Click on the 10 millimeter rounds that you just took from the vendor's inventory, and you're going to want to go ahead and put one back. Now, as you can see, he has a one and I have 70. So what you want to do now is click on your side of the 10 millimeter rounds again and put all the rest of them towards the vendor NPC, which in this case would be 70. As you can see, even though I put all of them back, I'm still left with one. You have the glitch ready now. All you have to do is sit here and keep clicking over and over and over again to get all of the money from the NPC. Now, if you want to take this a step further, this is something that people pointed out to me and that kind of went over my head to think about, honestly, um, but it's also what I've been doing anyway, just without realizing it, is that if you want to completely clear them out of anything, let's say you want this big boy, it costs 13k. Even if you took all of this vendor's caps, that doesn't amount to 13k. You can't buy that, but there is still a way that you can get this along with any other items that they're selling. So what you're going to want to do from here is after you already have the glitch going and everything, you're at this point of the glitch, go back over to their inventory screen, click on their side of the 10 millimeter rounds or whatever the case is for your rounds and make sure that the amount of caps you are putting up the quantity for. So for instance, in this case, it's 906 caps. Make sure you have that amount in your inventory. I have 1100 caps in my inventory, so this will work. Go ahead and just click A. And as you can see now, it says I have six rounds in my inventory. And that's fine. The glitch is still going. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and, and do the same thing. Click it again. And then click it again. And click it again. And just keep going until it's ridiculously high to the point where you know that it's more caps in the total cost than everything in this guy's inventory. And from here, you can go ahead and just buy everything. You can go ahead and take everything. And the why? Because all of this stuff that I'm taking is way less than the amount that he technically owes me, or at least what the game thinks he owes me for all of the ammo that I gave to him through the glitch. So you can literally take all this stuff and I'll show you guys, um, you can take all the fusion cores. I'll just only take the stuff that people would, you know, instantly take, you know, obviously the unique items here and then all the ammo and stuff like that, shotgun shells. Go ahead and take all of that. The one thing you want to make sure you, of course, don't take is the normal 10 millimeter ammo or whatever ammo you're doing the glitch with. Because, of course, if you do, then it's just going to it's, it's gonna keep doing the glitch and it's just going to keep getting higher and higher. Anyway, once you have everything from the vendor that you actually want to purchase, go ahead and just hit accept. And I'll do that right now. It's going to say the vendor doesn't have enough caps. Accept the trade anyway. It's just asking you if you want to go through with what is the game thinking is an unfair trade for you. Obviously hit OK because we know that's not the case. We're getting uh, a more than fair trade here. Hit OK and uh, you're basically good to go. If we back out here even though I'm carrying too much. Um, you guys will see in my inventory. I have the big boy now. I have the big boy. What else do we have here that I bought? 
We have Old Faithful. I bought that. And uh, for apparel, we have uh, where is it? Scroll down. Here. We have Protectors Left Arm Guard. Protectors Right Arm Guard. Uh, guard. Sorry. <laughs> all of that stuff I just purchased. And of course, I also still have all of his caps. And again, if you want to get your ammo back that you used for the glitch, the only way that you're going to be able to get it back is uh, by bartering with him again or trading with him again and actually buying it legitimately. Uh, so again, make sure that the ammo you choose to do the glitch with is the ammo that you don't care about. Or if you're just going to buy the ammo back at the end anyway, then it really doesn't make a difference. But you're going to want to go with whatever it's going to cost you the least, obviously. But anyway, guys, that is basically it. I really do hope that this tutorial and uh, this live commentary, step by step, whatever you want to refer to it as, is much better than the first video that I did explaining how to do it. Still, if you have any questions regarding anything around this glitch or just in general, go ahead and post it in the comment section below and I will be sure to reply to you as I did everyone else on the previous video. That is about it. I do hope you all have enjoyed the video though. If so, feel free to drop a like on it down below and subscribe for many more Fallout 4 videos to come. Thanks for watching everyone and peace out.